of today is Sunday the 8th of March it's a horrible day the snow as can be seen it's still um, it's raining it's that rain with snow and I'm now heading in the direction of Cologne and this is the um, southern part of Warsaw and the first part of the journey is towards Wrocław and that's where I'm going now. And the weather um, is not at all to my liking and additionally the I just had the car wash yesterday which I don't do very frequently in fact I do very infrequently and uh, my lovely clean car probably pretty dirty so que question on why I bothered to even do it in the first place although I w wasn't expecting the weather to be this bad um, traditionally I always go away this week so I have done now for the last nine years because it used to be the biggest trade fair when I was in the real estate sector but as I'm no longer in real estate I hear the lights are low that's because of the landing area the planes come into land here. I said it earlier, I made a mistake. <coughs> now, right next to the uh, airport here, I see there is um, some land for sale. And that land for sale must have been there for a very, very long time because one of the uh, companies there listed I think went out of stopped being in Poland maybe in 2004, 2005. It hasn't been around for a very long time. So obviously the landowners were no not asking for some ridiculous amount of money, which because of the collapse in land prices, they will not be getting now. And that'll teach them to be so greedy if they genuinely wanted to sell it, that is. Above is the uh, Route 50, which is the ring road around Warsaw, and which I filmed three weeks ago on a much more pleasant day than today. It was lovely blue sky then. I think that film's called Around Mastronel. Well, it's 25 to 8. And I've done 50 kilometers in 40 minutes. Which isn't too bad. Because usually coming out the city is quite, you could take, take that long to get out the city. So of course, most people are asleep at this time. is an hour and uh, eight minutes into my journey I've done 94 kilometers and uh, the weather is in fact a little bit better because it's no longer raining although my nice clean car is well and truly dirty hmm I don't think I'll bother doing that again having said I always clean the car before I go abroad when I remember that is but usually I forget First time I washed my car since um, oh dear, I can't remember. I remember washing it in the summer. I think it was the summer of 2007, though. So um, probably the last time it was washed. So this is. Um, Bełchatów. I've now been on the go for two hours. It's 165 kilometers, and um, it shows that the second half of the journey I did quite a few less kilometers than the first half. And the reason for this is because of the amount of speed cameras have now been put up. 
and uh, you've got all these brakes having to slow down for 70 kilometers an hour and I just saw somebody uh, stopped by the police he went past me at considerable speed and the thing is I'm going to get there before he did because I obeyed the speed limit and he doesn't I'm all in favour of these uh, speed cameras This is the main road between Warsaw and Wrocław, between two of the largest cities in Poland, and here, this is the bypass around Wauhatów, and here we've only got 40 kilometers an hour speed limit. One thing I've noticed is that there's very little biodiesel now available for sale. There was quite a lot when the petrol, the petrol prices were high. Now it's considerably, uh, the, the price of fuel has dropped uh, considerably. So it's now, for me, I'm paying around um, 80 euro cents a litre. When I was paying earlier, I was ooh, about one one euro twenty, twenty five, something like that. But there's very little biofuel now. Prices of fuel are now the lowest in Poland, as I can remember, for since two thousand five. Yeah, I've got stuck behind this gap in this petrol tanker thing. And I'm not going to chance of overtaking it, I think. So this is the uh, village of Radomina. It's now 5 to 10. I've been on the go for um, three hours and in that time I have done 240 kilometers um, 80 kilometers an hour which I suppose in these uh, conditions isn't too bad um, say conditions I don't mean the road conditions it's Sunday morning it's pretty empty it could go, it'd go much faster but there's a lot of uh, speed cameras as I mentioned earlier the weather has got better which is something I suppose which is positive Today is the uh, it's, it's Women's Day, it's, uh, which isn't uh, in Anglo-Saxon countries. I don't think it's celebrated, but or maybe it is. But it certainly is here in Poland, as in uh, many other countries, such as Italy. So I'm just leaving the area of Biała, the uh, gmina, which is an administrative um, unit, and this place is Velikinowa. Well, at 25 past 10, 275 kilometers to the west of Warsaw, 16 kilometers to the east of Sitzov, and the sun has come out. Not much of a sun, but a little bit's come out. And there's somebody going past me on a continuous white line. Now 5 to 11, it's 4 hours out of Warsaw, done 313 kilometers, which shows that the last hour was somewhat slower, and now coming up to the um, the ring road around Olesznice, which is very, very useful, uh, because uh, it used to be, well, I've known it to take as long as an hour to get through Olesznice, but on a good day it would, uh, it would take at least 20 minutes. 
And now we have uh, the, the, the motorway coming up and there's, there's somebody who wants to do it faster than everybody else. And, uh, and we didn't cause everybody to break as he was doing it. But anyway, um, so here we have it. It's a, uh, it's a dual carriageway. And I'm pretty glad it's here, to be quite honest. And uh, it'd be nice if this road will continue all the way up to uh, Piotrkov, but that would be asking too much. You know, we'll take these.